Hi everybody, I'm Sherry from the Monroe County Library System and today I'm sharing creepy books and creepy stories. The first one I want to mention is a crooked mark. Uh, it says on the back his job was to kill her. He never thought he would fall for her. So this book is about the devil returns souls to this world to do evil things and the main character, Matt, and his dad have been charged as watchers who go around and find these souls and must burn them to return them to hell. If that sounds super creepy, it is. I couldn't stand to have this book in the house. I had to go outside. This is Promise Boys, and it's in a genre that's being called dark academia. It's all sort of like takes place at boarding schools or mysterious high schools where there's a certain level of wealth, but also a certain level of dark things happening. This particular one is about the young men of Urban Promise Prep. They are extraordinary because they work hard. They are brothers keepers responsible for the future. They promise until one of the faculty members ends up dead and the hunt for who did it uh, quickly spreads to three unlikely students. Really interesting, really creepy book. Goes back and forth from all their different perspectives. If you're somebody who doesn't like to read one story all the way through, you like multiple stories, this is for you. Vampires never get old. Tales with fresh bite. So this is many stories about vampires, each one a little more bloodthirsty than the next. And this is the brand new, The Grimoire of Grave, of grave Fates. So this is, again, a bunch of different authors from lots of different cultures are writing stories about uh, incident that happens, again, in a very dark school. So it's one subject, but there's lots of different stories and ways of looking at it. This is uh, Daughter, and it is the story of a girl who uh, has a noise in her head that tells her that what she has seen is not real, but the disappearance of someone in her past tells her there's something that she's not seeing. And this is Two Truths and a Lie, so it's kind of like the game that you play. Trapped in an old motel with a murderer who will survive the night, sometimes you gotta use your wits to stay alive. This is one more collection that I wanted to mention. Uh, our Shadows Have Claws. These are Latin American monster stories. So if you're looking for something with a different cultural flair or stories that you haven't heard before, these are multiple stories, 15 I think, by different Latin American authors that take Latin American myths and uh, legends and creates modern day creepy fairy tales. These are just some of the uh, horrible books that are available at the library. I hope you come in and look for yourself. Find a creepy uh, story if that's what you're after, or we have so many other things. So come in and take a look. Hope to see you soon.